A miniature robotic crab tinier than a flea is the smallest remote-controlled robot ever. Got your attention? That in a report at Study Finds. Look at this. That thing is on the edge of a penny. What's referred to as a remarkable record-breaking micro-machine was developed by engineers at Northwestern University and comes in the form of a tiny peaky toe crab. <laughs> yeah. And what's it going to be peeking at? That's what I want to know. This is straight out of science fiction. Okay, it's just a half a millimeter wide. Now, I got to admit, I'm conflicted on this. I can see lots of good things happening here. But I can see bad things, too, depending on who's in charge. The same team also developed millimeter-sized robots resembling inchworms, crickets, and beetles. Ha <laughs> ha, great. <laughs> when we're all enslaved by these mini-robot overlords, don't say I didn't warn you. I, I mean, I love the idea of mini-robots. Uh, what a benefit to humanity. What can go wrong? Seriously, researchers believe the technology might bring the field closer to realizing micro-sized robots that can perform practical tasks inside tightly confined spaces, even inside the human body. Yeah, like eat your brain. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm gonna have nightmares. The same team last year produced a winged microchip that was the smallest ever human-made flying structure. <laughs> you thought that was a mosquito bite? Okay. Bioelectrics pioneer Professor John Rogers, who led the experimental work, said, quote, you might imagine micro-robots as agents to repair or assemble small structures, or machines in industry, or as surgical assistants to clear clogged arteries, to stop internal bleeding, or to eliminate cancerous tumors, all in minimally invasive procedures. <laughs> I literally did not know he said that. Like I said, I react to these like you do when I put these reports together. <laughs> See, tiny futuristic robots in the right hands can do good things. Researchers say the critters can walk with the average speed of half their body length per second. Ha, that's refreshing, not too fast. I can get them with a fly swatter or a glass of water. <laughs> the crab robot overlord, I mean, the crab robot is not powered by complex hardware, hydraulics, or electricity. Instead, Professor Rogers explained that its power lies within the elastic resilience of its body. To build the mini-machine, the researchers used a shape memory alloy material that transforms to its remembered shape when heated. In this case, the researchers used a scanner laser beam to rapidly heat the robot at different targeted locations across its body. A thin coating of glass elasticity returns that corresponding part of the structure to its deformed shape upon cooling. Professor Rogers says that as the robot changes from one phase to another, deformed to its remembered shape and back again, it creates locomotion. They use a pop-up assembly method to manufacture them, seen here in this animation. Okay, seems like we're a long way off from these Star Trek-like nanorobots in the Borg that can assimilate you because, of course, resistance is futile. But I'm keeping my eye on this robot army. I mean, lovely inventions that will make our life better. <laughs> you can find out a lot more about this and... Ooh, what was that? You can find out a lot more about this and uh, other studies by clicking on the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com. Thanks for watching.